Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Wesley Chapel Toyota, and guess what? We have something that I have not seen since the Chicago Auto Show from 2020. This is the new addition to the Highlander lineup. This is a 2021 Toyota Highlander, but not like any Highlander you've seen yet. This is the new XSE trim. But before we get into this sporty, mid-sized three-row SUV. Let's talk about what's going on here. So the Toyota Highlander has been around since 2001. Believe it or not, it was actually entering into dealerships in Y2K, the year 2000. Really has made a name for itself in the SUV segment of the auto industry. Obviously, since 2001, lots of things have changed when it comes to SUVs and what people are wanting. The whole point of this XSE is to kind of help the craving of those who've maybe had to get rid of their sports sedans because their family has grown, or maybe they have a family now, maybe they have some friends that they never had before, and they gotta haul more people and stuff around, but they want to give that sports sedan craving previous car owner an opportunity to get a midsize SUV that has that sporty element. So this XSE, it's gonna slot between the Highlander XLE and the top limited trim. What Toyota is promising is some of that TRD magic because this particular Highlander, first of all, doesn't look like any other Highlander. And we're gonna point out those small differences that really equate to a big change. But also when it comes to handling, there's some changes that have been done to really kind of make things feel a little bit more like that sports sedan. So let's go ahead, let's find out, is this Highlander XSE, is it a real performance midsize three row SUV? Let's go check it out. Right off the bat, I'm loving this ruby red flare color. Absolutely sparkles like a ruby in the Florida sun. Now, when we start at the front of the business, remember, this is nothing new. 2020 was a total redesign, total clean sheet, new generation redesign of the Highlander. But here are some changes for this XSE trim. First of all, let's look at the headlight design. So you're gonna get those LED daytime running lamps. You can see the projector LED beam of the headlight inside the housing. And I like the way they blacked everything out. As you drop down, this is gonna be XSE specific. You're gonna get a little bit of gloss black that kind of just trickles down Guess what? This is a functional side air curtain. So the great news is there's nothing fake on each corner of this Highlander XSE. As we come across the center, this is where you're gonna see all the unique touches of this particular trim. You're gonna get a gloss black grill up top, fully functional with of course that Toyota badge in the center, a little bit of the body color brought into it, and then this lower section is unique, specific to the XSE. I like the way it gives it a nice wide look. You do have some functionality, both top and bottom. This bright metallic silver, you know what I'm gonna say, right? Unique to the XSE trim. It actually extends further out than any other Highlander lower lip area. And I like the way they went with a nice flat metallic silver. And then you have the gunmetal metallic gray underneath it. Really gives it like I said, a nice low wide look to it. And of course, you even had those fog lamps down below to illuminate the road as it gets twisty because from what Toyota is saying, this thing can handle the twisty bits. I can't wait to find out. But before we do, let's pop up onto the hood. Really, really clean. You can see they give a nice large U-shape indentation on the hood. Other than that, the body lines are gonna come up on the corners and everything is flowing towards those flat black a pillars, which I think is another nice touch for the XSE trim. But let's check out some more stuff on the side. As we come around the bend, you do get a little bit of flat black. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm really curious what this would have looked like if they would have taken the beautiful ruby red flare color and brought it onto this lower portion. But the good news is it's not too high. The even better news, 20 inch wheels. These are XSE specific. 20 inch machined aluminum with some gloss black, 235 on the width, 55 series sidewall. And you know what? You look at the suspension bits, Toyota went through from top to bottom, all four corners of this SUV to retune the damping to give you better steering. So that's something, some of that TRD magic. So it's almost like this is a TRD light 
because they're not calling it a TRD version, it's the XSE. But I think the wheels, clean, nice multi-spoke, and especially 20-inch wheels look great on this Highlander. As we go down the side, there's that blacked out A-pillar I was telling you about, flat black, like it on the XSE, gives it a little bit of a unique look from the side, especially with the very, very flat roof. You're gonna have metallic gloss black on the mirror caps, your LED turn singles. Low down below, that lower sill comes down. That's unique, obviously, to the XSE. It's that flat metallic silver from the front. Color matched on the door handles. I'm glad they just went flat black top and bottom of the window treatment. A Little bit of gloss black in the center, gloss black on the low roof rails. You come towards the rear, there's a little bit more, just sprinkling of gloss black. I think they did a great job on the shape and the size of the rear quarter window. And one thing I wanna to touch on before I go any further, there's a couple things. First of all, you can't see it. There's actually a thicker anti-roll bar out back to try to combat that body roll. Because remember, part of the challenge of an SUV, it sits up higher, that lifts your center of gravity. We're trying to take that under control. So they went with a thicker anti-roll bar. One of my favorite things on the new Highlander is I love the body line. Starts on the driver's door, comes into the passenger, swoops up and it gives it a nice flared fender look. And what's great is that it blends in. I know this is gonna sound crazy, very similar overall flow to the Supra and also the new Sienna has actually taken that design philosophy. Now, as we get to the rear, you're gonna get a unique low roof spoiler. You know how I feel about these wipers, so we're gonna zonk that. These should all be tucked in to just clean up the back, but same sharp looking taillight design. I like the way it extends off the body. Looks really sleek, very 21st century. And then when we get to the tail end of business, of course you got your Toyota badge, Highlander, XSE trim. This is the first time ever. So mark that on your calendar that this is 2021 is the first year ever to have that XSE trim on a Highlander. We drop down, this is all unique to this particular vehicle. So you're gonna get the metallic flat silver all the way around this lower bumper area. I like the way they went with a nice dual tip exhaust, slash cut, a little bit of an oval. I think it would have been even better to have another two on this side to kind of balance it out. So I'm gonna have Zunk. They did half of the work. I wish there were just two others, but why don't we go ahead? I can't wait to drive this thing. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering our XSE Highlander. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that, especially on a higher trim Highlander, but underneath that hood is gonna be that tried and true V6 power plant. Now the engine cover isn't the sexiest, but the great news is you have naturally aspirated V6 power. So 295 horsepower, 263 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 6.8 seconds. You can tow up to 5,000 pounds. The vehicle does weigh 4,400 pounds. MPGs around 2021 20, in the city and 2930 on the highway. Really nice to see that engine super low in the engine compartment. And then, like I said, you're gonna get that rear stabilizer bar, the stiffer springs, the re-tuned suspension. And with those stiffer springs, we are gaining, or actually losing a little bit in height. We're gaining some low level, bringing the body down a little bit, nothing too crazy, but just something to try to balance it out. They even reworked the electric rack and pinion of the steering on this thing to really get it to give better feel as you're going down the road. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store for the X. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021, first time ever, Highlander XSE. I know you're at that point where you're saying, well, Joe, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that Toyota was thinking about when they came up with the idea for this XSE. I had a nice sporty sedan, had to get rid of it after I had my 10th kid. I have to go the SUV route now. I even found out that I had a couple kids I didn't even know about. How much is this one? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is $42,950. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I like the clean style. It's very, very dark material, but it's super clean. Soft touch up top. You got a little bit of gunmetal gray. I do like the way they worked the armrest and it's super soft. 
The stitch work is nice. And then you have a semi-decent pocket down below, a bottle of Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew, and maybe a medium-sized Bavarian pretzel hold the mustard because there's no room for it. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, you're going to find more of that great soft material, some faux carbon fiber, which looks tasteful. I wish they would have put this on the door panel instead of the flat gray, but you have faux carbon, faux carbon in the Twinkie holder. You could easily put four or five Twinkies in that slot. I like the trim. I love the soft touch material. That all new infotainment system. Now remember, you can go larger, but this is your standard eight inch infotainment system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Is it a touchscreen? Yes, it is a touchscreen. You can see the graphics, the colors, the fonts. I'll go ahead and throw it into reverse. A little grainy on the back of camera and no trajectory is a zonk, but the great news is it fills up pretty much all eight inches. And you know what? A lot of people are satisfied with eight inches and you know the screen size. They're happy with that. You do have your dual climate control. I like the tasteful feel on the buttons. Very, very nice, very clean. You do have heated seats, no ventilated seats. I am gonna zonk that at $42,950. But you could tell where they cut some things out to make the sporty handling changes. Love the silver material on all the switch gear, the way they integrated the AC vents, your start stop button. I have a nice little cubby here for Twinkies. Or if you want, you could put your iPhone 26 in this slot. And guess what? You have a little bit of a trap door there. That allows you to run a cord if you want to through this opening. So that's a very nice touch. This is gonna control that eight speed automatic, no CVTs. And then look at all the connectivity. Open up all the doors. You got three USBs, a 12 volt, and a place for at least two Snickers. If you go king size two, maybe if you go standard size, you could get a third one in there. We could close up all the doors. One, two, buckle your shoe. You got two cup holders. Everything's flat black here. I do like the silver. It kind of ties in with the silver on the exterior. The one thing that's a little bit of a letdown are their key fobs. Not the sexiest and definitely doesn't have any kind of like weight to it. And I, I'm not looking for a heavy key fob, but this really feels like something from 1990 on those aftermarket uh, alarms you could get. So that is to me a zonk. But you do have a mode selector, drive mode selector switch here, sport, normal, and eco. Obviously, you can shut the traction control off, control off and really smoke them because maybe you got them. I don't know about that. We'll have to see when we do the drive. Snow mode, don't have to worry about that in Florida. And I really love this, like this neoprene material that's easy to clean. Slide it back. Guess what? You have your wireless charging and then lift that up and you got plenty of storage. You got a pistachio tray in there and you could easily put, I would say, a football. You might be able to get a football in there or at least three softballs and a 12 volt in there to keep your balls warm. And then these are the seats you get. You have that um, faux leather material with the cloth. There is optional red interior you could get, like the grip, nothing too crazy on bolstering or anything like that. And then when it comes to controls, you have all your electric assist on the side, which is really nice, but it really does blend in perfectly with all the other uh, appointments in here. And then you're gonna have your standard size sunroof on the XSE trim. Would have been nice to have panoramic, but I'm sure we're trying to save weight and stiffen up the chassis. But why don't you come over here behind the wheel of this Highlander. I wanna show you what's going on in the business end. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this sporty edition of the Highlander. You do have those electric seat controls, easy to get to with the lower lumbar. Ooh, that feels good, right? About there. As you can see, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room up front. I like the way everything is laid out on the interior. What I don't like is I wish that they would have put some aluminum pedals. Doesn't that make sense? Sporty, you gotta have the aluminum pedals. So that definitely is a zonk. Steering wheel, it's your standard Toyota steering wheel. Not the sexiest of horn buttons, but I do like the flat black on the actual buttons themselves. The silver, a little bit of gloss black, nice thickness, nice contrast stitching. It is tilting and telescoping, of course. And then the dash is just straightforward. You have your analog speedometer, analog tack, coolant and fuel gauge, and then you have a seven inch display in the center, which you could go through a whole cornucopia of different information. And then of course you're getting all that Toyota sensing technology that's gonna help make sure that you and your family are safe. Would have been nice to have a head up display as well to focus on hitting your apex. But while we go ahead, let's get to the mid row 
And see, are your passengers really going to enjoy that next track day in your Highlander? All right, guys, mid-road time in this 2021 Highlander. And just like other Highlanders that we featured, you're going to get a great amount of space. Of course, you're getting the same style of seating. These are captain's chairs. One of my zonks is that they just don't do the armrest enough width. With. I, I would love for my whole arm to be resting on the armrest, not just half of it. But, you know, it is what it is. You have that simulated faux leather that goes all the way around. Nice size pocket. You could easily put a whammo in there. If you're wondering what's a whammo, a frisbee. You could put a dagger. You could put a set of nunchucks. But you know what? If you're more of a lover than a fighter, you could put a stuffed animal back there and just hug and love your stuffed animal on your next trip as your driver is going down some twisty bits. Rear of the center console, you're going to have AC controls easy to get to. And then look what they did. Nice to see USB in the back seat for the mid-row passengers. Nicely done. I don't know how they did it, but they were able to get plenty of headroom back here. I'm six feet tall. I still got plenty of headroom. My only complaint is that the rear AC vents are literally right there. Why not have a couple extra, maybe on the frame rail, maybe on the back of that center console? This is just kind of ridiculous. So just something to be aware about. You do have a nice little party tray here for two uh, supersized Slurpees, and you could put some nachos with some cheese back here. Mmm, some of that spray cheese. Yeah, that feels good right about now. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about the mid row. Let's get to that third row and see how a large person is gonna fit in this Highlander. All right, guys, time to get into that third row. It's actually pretty painless. You're just gonna lift up on this top lever. Oh, hold on one second. I think I got a phone call. Hello? Oh, really? Mmm. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No big deal. It happens to the best of us, right? All right, bye. All right, so that was Toyota USA. That was actually specifically Zach, one of my main contacts over there. I forgot to talk about the mid-row. The seats are sliding, and they are reclining, and the controls are really easy to get to on the lower portion of the seat. So just something to be aware about, that they do slide, and they do also recline. But to get in, it's real simple. You're just going to pull on that lever. They encased everything in plastic so your kids aren't going to rip up the carpet in your beautiful Highlander. And now we're going to kind of crawl in. Pull out this mic here. Get back, get comfy. At least try to get comfy. So these seats do recline a little bit, but as you can see, part of the problem with many mid-size SUVs, look where my knees are. I am not going to want to stay back here very long unless you're paying me a good amount of money. If you pay me a good amount of money, I'll suck it up and I'll ride back here. The good news is I got plenty of headroom. And yes, we, just like the mid-row, had the AC vents blasting us right in our face. You do have two cup holders. I would put like a Yoo-Hoo and maybe some Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. Mm, that sounds good right about now. But the bad news is if your phone goes dead back here, you're SOL. And if you don't know what that means, Google it. You're going to have to run a cord from the front to the back. But you know what? Not about the mid row or the third row in this thing. If you're ready, let's check out the cargo and then we're taking it for a spin. All right, guys, we have the rear tailgate open. Nice electric assist, has a wide opening, tall opening. I left the third row up to give you an idea of how much space you have with that row up. So you're looking at 16 cubic feet of space with the third row up. You fold everything down, you're almost at 85 cubic feet of space. I do like the way there's some storage for the Twinkies, for the snacks on those long family trips underneath this cover. There's even another area where they have a removable panel. That's where you're gonna hide that secret stash of yodels, maybe some Hostess cupcakes in there. Don't let anybody else know, save them just for you. And then of course, to put the seats down, it's so easy. You're just gonna lift up, headrest drop down. Look at that. Nice flat floor. We could put down that mid row. And like I said, you're looking at 85 cubic feet of space. But why don't we go ahead? It's about that time. We've been waiting for it. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this XSE Highlander for a little spin. All right, guys, we left Wesley Chapel Toyota. We're in the 2021 Toyota Highlander XSE. I have it in sport mode. Remember, you have those three different modes. And we're just going to see how the changes have really equated to a difference in the way that this Highlander drives. Now, what I'm noticing is a little bit firmer ride, of course. You're gonna get that if you're gonna run different springs, retune, shock absorbers, put a 
thicker anti-roll bar. But you know what? Nothing too crazy that feels like you're going to be shaking your internal organs to death, which is really good news. Just like any other Highlander, placement of everything is on point. That's why their steering wheels look the same. Like so many Toyotas, the steering wheels look the same because they want you to just get into it and be able to feel comfortable and drive very, very easily. But I'm definitely feeling the rework to the electric steering rack. Feels good, I feel connected. Let's go ahead and on throttle, here we go. Feels really, really good. Nice linear power delivery from the V6. And as you can see, body roll is definitely less in this XSE as you're going through the corners. I like the feedback. I like the weight of the steering. Really feels more planted than other Highlander trims that we have driven on Rady's rides for sure. Still feels great though. It, it, it has all the other great attributes, comfortable seats, not a lot of wind noise, plenty of space, that's for sure. But let's go ahead and get out onto the highway here. I want to see what it feels like going down that, but let's go ahead. On throttle, little bit of tire slippage there. Remember this is front wheel drive. Getting up the speed nicely. But driving down the road, you're still gonna feel comfortable. You're still gonna feel very well planted and you're not gonna get beat up at the long driving day when you're going on that family trip. Visibility is wonderful. The mirrors work great. And then like I said, to keep you out of trouble whenever you kind of drop the ball, you do have all the blind spot monitoring, the lane keep assist, all those goodies to keep you safe, which is really nice as well. But I'm telling you, I'm really liking the steering feel that they've done in this Highlander XSE. Yeah, it's making a U-turn, very easy in this vehicle. On throttle, here we go. That transmission drops down and you are off and running. Smooth shifts. Love the color in this particular Highlander. Really, really just has a nice metallic sparkle to it. Gauges are easy to read. Steering wheel feels good. These seats are incredible. And then I think your mid-row passengers are gonna be just as happy as you are. I would like ventilated seats, so we're gonna stick with that zonk, and I would like a head-up display. That would have been nice too. And I don't know how you feel about having the smaller screen size. Um, I think some people, enjoy the, the eight inches more um, because they don't need, you know, a 12 inch screen, so to speak. All right, guys, driving down this road, really, really predictable handling. You could hear that lane keep assist making a noise at me, but just really, really smooth. Communicates a little bit more, which is nice. It would be nice to take some of this uh, communication that I'm getting through the steering wheel and put that in all the Highlanders, but Let's see how she handles. On throttle, here we go. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> I'm in a Highlander going through some twisty bits here. So really, really nice, balanced. I, I think it was smart to stiffen up the rear and not go too crazy on the front because I think that would have not made the equation we wanted. There's a little bit of a crow here in the middle of the row. We're gonna kind of go around them. But one more time, on throttle, here we go. Wow, look at this, really nice. So anyways, hopefully this gave you an overall feel, great overall feel of what this new trim for 2021, the XSE on the Highlander SUV lineup. We're gonna get back to Wesley Chapel Toyota and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Wesley Chapel Toyota. I definitely gotta thank Ness, Scooter, the whole crew, getting us access to this 2021. It's their only one in the XSE trim. It's nice to see that Toyota has not forgotten the people, the men and women out there, like you and I, that enjoy the actual act of driving, yet we need a little bit larger vehicle to haul all the people and stuff 
that we carry around each and every day, all the baggage with us. One thing is for certain, the, t the things that they've tuned with the suspension, with the styling, I think really just makes this more of a sportier SUV. Is it a real performance SUV? I think I would need a little bit more horsepower, but definitely from a handling aspect, they did a great job with this new Highlander. But if you wanna keep seeing SUVs that are just a little different than your run of the mill versions, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the queen of the camera out here in this football sized parking lot, getting every angle of this Highlander. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you for everything that you do, Lori. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.